Hi guys, Marcia here with the Sew Along Review A of my Fall Know Me pattern 2054. I received several requests for a pattern for this sweatshirt and I'm so excited to finally be able to offer it to you guys. It's a cool hooded sweatshirt with an exaggerated shoulder feature. Now this Sew Along is only for View A of this pattern. So if you're ready, grab your materials and let's get into it. So for this so long, we're gonna be creating View A, which is your sweatshirt with the exaggerated sleeves in the hood. You can refer to the back of your pattern for suggested fabrics, notions, sizes, and measurements. If this is your first time sewing, don't forget to review your pattern instructions for pattern markings and suggested cutting layouts. I've listed the pattern pieces that you will need to cut for this pattern so don't forget to mark all of your pattern notches and dots and apply your interfacings before getting started. So go ahead and grab piece two, which is your kangaroo pocket. It goes on the front of the sweatshirt. I went ahead and searched the edges of mine um, and we're going to do a narrow hem on the side edges of the pocket, just like this, between the small and large dots. Now my, my dots are right there if you can see them. So I'm gonna do this on the other side to show you how this is done. You can use your clips or your pins and an iron to press as you go. All right, once you get get those edges pinned, it should look like that. Now we can take it to the machine and stitch the edges down. So for this part, we're gonna stitch between the large dots. and we're gonna do an edge stitch here. I'm gonna go ahead and take some of the pins off. It's a little easier for me to get out of the way. Let's go ahead and do the other side. Now let's grab our piece number one, which is our front piece. And we're gonna be placing the pressed edges along the pocket lines. Here are the dots that we're gonna match up. I'm gonna switch over to pins for this so that it will stay in place as I stitch it. You line the pocket up with the, the dots and the lines. And do the sides and 
place the pins at the bottom edges also. I'm gonna slide this one over just a little bit. I think it's out of place. There we go. Once your pocket is pinned to the front, you can take it to the machine and edge stitch the top, the sides, and the bottoms. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and edge stitch the outer edge of our pockets. Starting at the outer edge there. And don't forget the top edge. Now take your front piece which is piece one, and your back piece, which is piece three, and with the right sides facing. Line up the edges of the shoulders, matching your notches. Pin or clip the edges together. Then you can take it to the machine and stitch a five eighths of an inch seam allowance on each shoulder. So next we're gonna move on to the hood. We're gonna take piece number four, which is our hood, and matching the edges in the notches, place the right sides together, and pin the hood together with your clips or your pins like so. Make sure your edges are lined up and your notches are lined up. Now you take it to the machine and stitch a five and an eight um, seam allowance along the edge of the hood, leaving the front open.
So this pattern comes with um, hood facing. So you should have cut four pieces of your hood. Two are your main pieces and the other two are your for your facing. Um, I ran out of the original uh, main fabric that I was using. So I had to use this sweatshirt fabric, which has this um, black facing, this black facing on the back of it. So never mind that. They're both sweatshirt fabric, so we're gonna roll with it. Um, you can go ahead and put right sides together and sew your hood facing just as you sewed your main part of your hood. I'm gonna line up the notches and the raw edges, pin it with my clips or secure it with my clips and take it to the machine and stitch a 5 8 of an inch seam allowance around the hood. Now that you have your um, hood sections completed, let's go ahead and apply the grommets to the hood. Don't forget to apply interfacing on the wrong side of the hood where you will be placing your grommets. Continue to apply your grommets following the manufacturer's directions. You can use a mallet or a grommet hand pressing machine. Okay, so now we have our main hood and our hood facing. And with right sides together, we're going to pin the notches and raw edges together, putting one or putting the main hood inside of the facing of the hood, just like this. And if you didn't catch it before, the only reason why my facing um, part of the hood has a black lining is because there are two different types of uh, sweatshirt um, fabric and it just happened that the inside of that one is black. But um, you can go ahead and make your facing or cut your facing out of the same type of fabric that you use for your main fabric. And go ahead and pin the raw edges together just along the um, hood the edge of the hood the front of the hood Okay, so when you have the two pieces pinned together, you can take it to the machine and stitch a 5 8 of an inch seam allowance along the edge. All right, so it doesn't really matter which side that you um, stitch it on, um, but I like to see my hardware so that I don't accidentally run into it. And back stitch. Thank you. 
make sure that your seam is flat when you go over it so that it reduces on puckering and bulk. seam and go ahead and trim your seam on your hood and we're going to turn it right side out okay so once your seam is trimmed we're going to turn the facing to the inside And then we'll press and base the edges to get a clean, smooth edge there. Got to work with it just a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and start pressing the edges on um, these seams so that they lay flat or lie flat. Now I'm just going to match up the bottom seams also just to make sure that the seam is flat and just kind of clip it together just to keep it in place. Okay, so now that your hood is turned right side out, it is ready for basting. So I'm going to take it to the machine and baste the raw edges and then I'm going to top stitch the seam on the um, the folded seam on the outside of the hood. Once your raw edges are basted you can go ahead and top stitch a one inch um, stitch from the finished front edge. So I'm using my zipper foot to stitch a one inch top stitch um, from the finished front edge and I'm doing this so that my uh, foot does not run into my grommet. Okay, so now we're going to take our sweatshirt, finished sweatshirt piece, and our hood. And we're going to match our um, notches and our dots to the neckline of the sweatshirt. Match the um, your dots to your shoulder seams. And your notches
and then work your your back seam in there secure it with your clips or your pins and then when you get to the front you're going to lap the front dot over the right the left front dot so your left side is going to be lapped over the right matching the dots at the center front of the stitch and pin it now you can take this to your machine and stitch a 5 8 of an inch seam allowance along the neckline okay so I went ahead and um, trimmed and finished my hood seam and now we're going to press it down and then And then on the outside, we'll top stitch the front and the back neck edge, a fourth of an inch from the seam. Just gonna press it down first. Pressing the hood out away from the sweatshirt. Give it a nice clean seam there. Alright, now that you got your neckline seam, we're going to take it to the machine and uh, top stitch a fourth, an inch, a fourth of an inch from um, the back and the front neck edge from that seam there. Now we're going to move on to our armhole and our sleeve. This is the flange or what I call the exaggerated shoulder and you should have cut four of these. Two of them will be used for your facing and um, then two of them will be your main shoulder part which is on the outside. Um, go ahead and interface, put, uh, apply your interfacing to two of those pieces if you haven't already and we are going to <clears throat> pin them together right sides facing matching notches and dots go ahead and pin the curved edge or the outside edge of the flange now there is a dot right here and this is where you're going to start and stop your stitch um, we're going to take it to the machine and stitch along the edges here and then we'll trim it Go ahead and trim the seam to your flange. Do this for both of them, both shoulders. All right, once that's complete, you can turn it right sides out. And we're going to press, press it flat. 
Now we're going to take our flange to the machine and stitch a half an inch from the um, folded edge of the flange and continue creating top stitch rows a half an inch apart. Make sure you do that for both of your flanges. Once your flanges are complete, they should look a little bit like this. And now we're going to grab the sweatshirt and apply these flanges to the armhole. So taking your sweatshirt with right sides facing, we're going to match the notches. The notches here and here. And the dot goes at the shoulder seam. If we can get that open. Make sure your um, shoulder seam is flat when you apply your flanges. And then we're going to pin it or clip it. Do this for both sides. Once you've finished securing your flange to your armhole, go ahead and take your um, sweatshirt to the machine and stitch a 5 8 of an inch seam allowance along the armhole. Next, we're going to take pieces 6 and 7 and we're going to pin them together with right sides facing, matching the notches. Use your clips or your pins to secure. Take it to your machine and give it a stitch. Six and seven makes your armhole bands. And now that you have them stitched together, make sure you press those seams flat. And we're going to attach these to our armhole. So we're going to take our sweatshirt and our armband and on the outside, we're going to pin the band to the armhole matching notches and shoulder seams. Just like that. Now we can take it to the machine and stitch the armband to the armhole. 
So for this part, I like to start from the seam and work my way out. So we're gonna start here at the seam and go down one side of the armband and then we'll flip it over and start on the other side and go down the other side of the armband. You can go ahead and trim this seam. On both sides. Go ahead and press the seam towards the armband. Right now we're ready to put on your sleeve. So go ahead and grab your sleeve, which is piece number eight. We're gonna take one at a time. All right, see which one we got here. And with right sides together, We're gonna pin the sleeve to the armhole edge, placing center small dot at the shoulder seam, like that. Matching the remaining small dots. And notches, of course. Like so. And just in case you didn't catch that the first time, I'll show you again on the other sleeve also. But we're gonna take this to the machine and give it a five eighths of an inch stitch along this sleeve line. We're gonna repeat putting that arm in. You're taking the free end of the armband that you just last installed and with right sides together, you're gonna to place your sleeve matching the dot, the middle small dot to the seam. Clip or pin that in place and go ahead and match the notches and the rest of the dots along the same edge. Okay, so now that the sleeve is in, I went ahead and finished the seam and I pressed the seam toward the arm. Now, we're gonna go ahead and pin the front and the back together at the sides with right sides facing. Let's flip it over. We're gonna match up the sides matching all the dots and notches and edges and seams, of course. Matching the underarm seams. Make sure that that flange is faced out and not in when you pin and stitch the sides together. and pin your sides together at the notches. Okay. 
and your arm together, matching the notches. All right, so what you're gonna do now is gonna, you're gonna take it to your machine and stitch around the arm and down the side using five eighths of an inch seam allowance. Make sure you do that for both sides. Now let's grab our sleeve band. This is piece nine. You're gonna fold it in half with the right sides together, matching the notches and lining up the raw edges. Go ahead and pin it to secure it and then we'll take it to the machine and give it a stitch. Stitch the ends of your sleeve band, leaving an opening between the small dots. Press the seam of your sleeve band open and flat using a pressing tool or an iron. Next, fold the band in half lengthwise with the wrong sides together and pin the raw edges. Complete these steps for both of your sleeve bands. Now with both sleeve bands complete, on the outside we're going to pin the sleeve band to the lower edge of the sleeve matching the underarm seam and notches. Complete these steps for both sleeves. Once your sleeve bands are secure, we're going to take it to the machine and give it a stitch. Stitch the armband to the sleeve using a 5 8 of an inch seam allowance. Make another stitch 1 fourth of an inch away within the seam allowance. Complete this for both armbands and then trim and press seam towards the sleeve. Go ahead and cut the elastic, the measurement of the elastic guide for your sleeve. We're going to insert the elastic through our opening in the sleeve cap using a safety pin. Once you've fed the elastic all the way through the sleeve band, lap the ends over each other and hold it with the safety pin. 
You can try it on and adjust it if necessary. Once you fitted your elastic bands the way you like it, you can stitch the ends of the elastic on the machine. Make sure to slip stitch the opening closed on your sleeve band. Now let's complete our drawstring for our hood. This is piece number 11. With right sides together, fold in half lengthwise and pin. Stitch a 3 eighths of an inch seam allowance, leaving an opening to trim and turn with your turning tool. Be sure to press your drawstring before slip stitching the opening. You can use a safety pin to thread the drawstring through the grommets on your hood. Knot the ends of your drawstrings to keep them secure. All that's left is the hem on your sweatshirt. Turn up the hem on the lower edge of your garment and finish with a top stitch. I hope you enjoyed this sew along. Stay tuned for view B on this pattern and don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram at Kichibi Style for style ideas on this pattern and more. Peace.